This is the second part of my video on adding metal flake finish to a strap. The last coat of lacquer has been curing now for more than two days, so it's time to begin the sanding and polishing. In order to get a mirror-like finish, the surface has to be completely leveled. To do this requires a several step process. First comes wet sanding with a very fine sandpaper of 1000 and then 2000 grit. The best place to find a paper like this is a good auto supply store such as Pep Boys. First let the paper soak for about an hour before sanding it. Now with wet sanding I don't apply any downward pressure. I just let the water itself provide the suction. I only sand back and forth in one direction. Don't use a crisscross motion and don't use a circular motion with it. I'm going to start with a thousand grit paper for a few minutes. And actually this is the uh, a sanding sponge with a thousand grit. And the strat has a bevel on the side and I'm going to use that as a separate surface and do that kind of separately and not sand it going back and forth and down with that because I don't want to take any of the lacquer off of the edge of the bevel here. So I'm just going to go through and start the sanding process. Now while I'm sanding, I'll occasionally dip the sponge back into the water again and that helps keep the suction going. Now I've been sanding this with the thousand grit for about five minutes now and I'm going to wipe it clean to get a feel for how the surface is coming along. And some of the major bumps seem to be getting fairly level on the surface. So I'm going to switch it now to the 2000 grit just because I don't want to cut too fast into the surface because once you cut through the lacquer you're uh, in a bit of trouble because you can't put it back on again unless you go through the whole process all over again of spraying the guitar. So I'm working with my 1000, 2000 grit now and be working with that for a while. Well I've been sanding now for about a half hour and it looks about as smooth as I want to get it with the sandpaper. So now I'm going to start polishing it with rubbing compound which is a bit more of an abrasive paste than anything than the other polishes are. And I'm going to take a wet cloth and give it about two applications of this. Again rubbing in one direction. And I'm going to put a bit more pressure on it than I did with the sanding block. But again, moving only in one direction. Okay, this is my second application of rubbing compound. And now I'm going to wipe it off. And you can see that the finish is getting pretty flat there. It looks like all the significant bumps are gone. So now I'm going to start applying the slightly less abrasive polishing compound to it. Again with a damp cotton cloth.
applying some significant pressure and I'm going to do two applications of this also. Okay, I'm about done with the polishing compound, the second application of that. I'm going to wipe it off. And now I'm beginning to see some reflections in the surface. But it's not good enough yet. So what I'm going to do now is apply some anti-swirl compound to the surface. Now this again use a um, terry cloth applicator. And just rub it in with a light to moderate pressure. Okay, I wound up putting two applications of the swirl remover on there. And that is really what does the trick. Because now I can really see some reflections in here. I can uh, see myself in it almost that mirror-like finish. So now, to top it off, I'm going to put an application of car wax over it. Sure, they make special waxes for guitars, but let's face it, this is all automotive finishes, so why not use car wax? Okay, so that's one side completely done. Now I'm going to do the same process to the back side, but for the actual sides of the guitar, I'm just going to use the rubbing compound, the polishing compound, the anti-swirl or the swirl removing compound, and the wax. It's a little bit too tough to get a sanding block in on these curves here. Um, so it's really kind of pointless to do that stuff. Now, as far as the edges of the guitar, I really didn't do anything specific to that because the lacquer tends to be thin on the edge and the last thing that you want to do is again cut into the lacquer um, besides that the curve of the edge is enough to give it kind of a pretty glossy finish to begin with. So now all I've got to do is put the guitar back together and I'm ready to play. Um, hope this has inspired some of you who have thought about doing some customizing for your guitar. Um, it's really not that difficult of a thing to do. Thanks for watching.